Pantheon is over 30 years old. It was founded in London in the early 80s. And we've evolved since then. We opened an office in the U.S. in 1987 and then in Asia in 1992. So we have offices in the three major private equity regions and we have a complete set of private equity capability, meaning primary, secondary, and co-investing. And also in the last several years have added uh, infrastructure and real assets to our abilities as it relates to investment management. Private equity and the public markets do have a lot of similarities in that ultimately what you're doing is investing in operating businesses. However, private equity is a bit more complex when you look at the landscape and how to access investments in those companies. So in a public market context, everybody has essentially the same information that's required by a registered company. But a private equity firm can oftentimes get an information advantage or they're dealing with a privately held company, a family owned business, for example, that they can then access and buy at a, at a reasonable price. So when you compare public versus private, there's a lot of differences in terms of how you access information and how you access the investment itself. The other important difference, I believe, is the corporate governance model of private equity, which allows for a more concentrated ownership, a more concentrated board, uh, and therefore governance that's more singular and more directed. And I think that's actually one of the benefits of private equity is the ability to incentivize management properly to align with the shareholders and the management team and create value over a long period of time without worrying about what you have to report publicly in any given quarter. There are great opportunities created because of the nature of private equity in the context of trying to identify businesses that you want to buy and then negotiating as a private equity firm, as a general partner who's managing a fund, one-on-one -on -one with the seller. The seller might be a family, the seller might be an individual entrepreneur, might be another private equity firm, but you have the ability to go in and negotiate a transaction and demonstrate as a private equity firm and as an owner what you can bring to the table. You might be buying the company outright, or you might just be providing growth capital. It might be a venture capital situation where you're providing very early stage capital to help the business grow. And so there's an opportunity there relative to the public markets for private equity managers to be able to make a, a big difference and I think create a lot of value once they own those businesses. Manager selection is critical in private equity because of the difference that the manager can make in owning that business and the difference in value that can be created as a result of their expertise. There's a very large dispersion in private equity returns. Uh, over the last several years, if you look at it between the first quartile cut and the fourth quartile cut, it's about a 13% difference in internal rate of return. That's a significant difference. So manager selection from our perspective in, in terms of the managers that we're going to work with and provide capital to is critical. What we do in order to identify the managers we want to work with starts really with the, uh, the overall origination process. Knowing which managers we want to speak with, identifying them, gaining access to them, creating a relationship where we can get the opportunity to invest in their next fund, for example and then invest with them over a long period of time. A couple of the things that are really important, particularly as private equity has evolved from somewhat of a financial engineering phenomena, if you go back to the, really to the late 70s and 80s, into what it is today, is that you have to be able to create value once you own that business as a private equity manager. And by that I mean, you need to understand the industry, you need to understand how to incentivize management, you need to uh, pay the right price, of course, but then also you need to know where to exit, how to sell that business or partner with someone in, in allowing you to create even more value. And so two of the things that we look for are significant operational capability. Now that can come in the form of 
actual partners within the private equity firm that have backgrounds in, in industry or in other service segments or other types of businesses where they can bring that capability and that experience to bear. Or it could be an advisory board that you are interacting with a great deal as a private equity manager and you're taking advantage of those contacts. The second thing, over time, we'd like to see firms gain industry expertise. So if you look at the private equity landscape today versus 15 or 20 years ago, you'll see a significant increase in the number of sector-focused groups. Sometimes it's one sector, for, for, for example, uh, healthcare or uh, food and beverage or financial services. And then sometimes it's a couple of different sectors. They may have consumer, business service, financial service, something like that. But in any case, what we're looking for is an increased capability with regard to understanding industries. So that's helpful in three ways. First, when you look to buy a business, you're going to be able to do better due diligence. You'll be able to understand that sector better and be able to find the right company at the right price. Secondly, and perhaps most importantly, as you own the business, you're going to be able to create value because you either know that business very well or you have advisory board members that you put on the board of that company in order to help them create value. That value can be created both at an operational level, you know, the real nuts and bolts, as well as a strategic level in terms of making acquisitions and so forth. And then finally, on exit, it's important to have industry expertise because you'll know how to position the business properly for it to be more valuable to a strategic buyer, for example, or perhaps more valuable to another private equity firm.